So you stumbled on the napalm channel Blown views, panel, killed and trample Smoke a camel, don't get anal It's classic games all the time Watch me rhyme, stream full time In my prime, kill an undead like I'm Rick Grimes Stream starting soon, so let's attune Streams in the afternoon beneath the moon Let's commune, getting old, need a spoon When I eat my prunes I learned to group in Black Pearl End up in the dunes So hit the like and the sub and the bell I don't smell, pretty swell In the dungeons where I dwell You'll be a fan, I foretell Shoot a spell when I yell And be my clientele I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dime Lopes, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Zelic Lib, Rodden Yo Mom, Vander, Gallery Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Trips, Bad Wolf Gaming, Richard Glass, Chrono Guru, Cobalt, and the Cyber Nomad Witcher. Thank you for your highest tier membership. You stumbled on the napalm channel Blown views, panel, killed and trampled Smoke a camel, don't get anal It's classic games all the time Watch me rhyme, stream full time In my prime, kill an undead like I'm Rick Grimes Stream starting soon, so let's attune Streams in the afternoon beneath the moon Let's commune, getting old, need a spoon When I eat my prunes I learned to group in Black Pearl End up in the dunes So hit the like and the sub and the bell I don't smell, pretty swell In the dungeons where I dwell You'll be a fan, I foretell Shoot a spell when I yell And be my clientele I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Dime Lopes, Farthest Reach, Sparrow, Christopher Hensel, Random Rob, Zelic Lib, Rodden Yo Mom, Vander, Gallery Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Trips, Bad Wolf Gaming, Richard Glass, Chrono Guru, Cobalt, and the Cyber Nomad Witcher. Thank you for your highest tier membership. What is up, everybody? We're live with a brand new episode of Cringe Pony TV, the ultimate nerd geek MMO culture, whatever the heck this is. <laughs> and what do, I think What's we're, up, everybody? I think it's episode 28. Is that right? Does that sound right, guys? I think we're on 28. Uh, it might be 29. 20 or 29. Something like that. It's something well, like know. that. This is just 28.5 if it's not. Mm. <laughs> well, I can tell you it's season three, episode five. For sure it's that. And oh, um, this is the pre-party where we're just hanging out for a little while. We're going to let people gather, let everybody realize that we're, that we're freaking live. Um, for anybody Wait, that's in, what was I've that? seen this show before. Have we, is this a repeat? Is this, are we watching something from the past? Uh, Maybe. Dude, let me tell you guys something. Actually, I'm busted. This was pre-recorded. What? I'm actually committing a murder right now. What? Uh, this, is to make, this is my alibi. This is my alibi. Go. That's right. Go. Perfect. Please don't, please don't let me just happen to... 
become a suspect. Thank you, Bounty Code. Thank you. Let's go. So I am talking to chat, which proves that I really am live and that I was just joking. See, did I fall and hit my head on the hardwood carpet? See, Gula Gula just said that. I am actually live. Gula Gula Island. So if anybody doesn't know what Cringe Pony is, this is a show where me, Dimelos, and Steve... We are going to present to you six golden cringes. They're skits, spoof show. Uh, it's kind of like Saturday Night Live, but it's for nerds and geeks. Okay, is that is that a pretty good definition? What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah, yeah, a lot of geek um, stuff. Yeah, and so we'll play us. We'll it's play real a weird. If you've it, not been here, it's real weird. It's, it's real. It's very. It it's, crazy. it's very anti comedy, <laughs> anti humor. If you like anti humor, you love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awkward, a little bit of weird, a little bit of cannibalism. You know, you just never know what you're going to get here. Thank you, Winter, for complimenting my awesome background. That is a good one. It's a classic. <laughs> That's a classic. It really shows off the mullet, Stephen. I know, man. That's I what show how glorious that it is. Uh, if we're, we're live, so you need to whip that beauty out every time we go live. Mm -hmm. There's double it's mullets. Here, here. Double mullets. Oh, triple. Man. Double the mullets in today's episode. Not only Steve, who actually has a mullet, and I'm very jealous, but lots of mullets in today's episode. And, well, guys, I also have some sad news. What? I can't handle that today. So normally I take all of Saturday to finish up Cringe Pony, but today we went and visited some friends of the family, um, so I didn't get to spend all day. I knew we were doing this today, so I got as much work done during the week as I could. So we still got our six cringes, but there's no bonus today. No bonus. Last time we won't have a bonus. No bonus. I could have put the bonuses on. I could have did it, but they would have been kind of crappy. They weren't They weren't finished yet. They would have been like mere shells of what they could be. And they're, why waste a good cringe when I can make, it, sure. when I can make sure. it the way it's intended to be? Nobody will know what I mean by saying this, but I mean, we can't do the nasty nooch like that. We got to hold out. Yeah, the nasty nooch, nooch can't be treated um, unfairly. It's just now not right. you're douching it. Well, uh, we've got a decent amount of people gathered up now. Um, if you guys are comfortable with it since we started late... Um, I think we can we can move into some cringes if you guys are ready. Uh, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna start the show. Let's get ready to cringe. <laughs> that sounded like a recording. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the first one is uh, what do we got up first here? We've got some. It, this is actually the return. This is kind of the second episode of uh, the gaming odd couple, and so we'll you know it's uh, kind of a sitcom. Um, you know, and uh, last time they learned a little lesson, um, you know, had a moral at the end. It's a beautiful, you know, 90s sitcom kind of vibe. And if you guys are ready, let's do this thing. Let's, let's do, do this. I'm going to open my YouTube up too so I can watch it too. All right, here we go. First cringe. Here we go. you live and sometimes you learn you've got a friend here as the world turns finding your place isn't easy to do you got me and i've got you when the power turns on our troubles are gone friendship we laid upon playing these games to break up dawn just you and me, can you see? Just you and me on this old CRT. We find our way forward so careless and free. I don't need nobody else. Who knows what together we can possibly do? I don't need the riches or treasures of this land. When everything I need is right. Here is my hand And when I see the dark Crossing through in my day All I need is my best friend And a game to play <laughs> I love Final Fantasy 16 But this boss is hard You've been at it for a while, Jack Maybe it's time to take a break. Shut up, Pixel. I can't give up now. 
I'm so close. Okay then, Jack. <laughs> Dang it! I died again! <laughs> You killed him, Jack! <laughs> well, you shouldn't have been standing there. Your gamer rage has gone too far. You need to take a break from Final Fantasy 16 now. What do you know? You play the game on the easy storyline mode. <sighs> oh, Jack. <laughs> Nobody understands me at all. Jack, I do understand that you really love Final Fantasy 16 and you want to beat the game to see the ending, but the man out there had a family and now he's dead. You mean sometimes I overreact and I just need to take a break for a little while and I can come back to the game later with a calmer demeanor and maybe I can beat the boss then? That's exactly what I'm saying, Jack. Oh, Pixel. Aww. You're the bestest friend I ever had. Now let's go bury that guy's body before anyone calls the police. There you go. The second odd couple. Uh, gaming odd couple. Um, Jack is accident. I mean, we've all been there. Little gamer rage. He accidentally killed a man in his situation with his PS5 controller. I don't know if I've killed anybody, but I've certainly gotten pretty <laughs> upset at games before. Have you ever thrown a controller across the room? Uh, probably. Let's, I, let's be honest. I haven't in a long time. I, I have not. Just because the cost. Have. The cost of controllers kind of stopped. Sure, sure. Yeah. Raging hormones when you're Yeah, when you're a teenager. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Preteen, teenager. I used to smash my controller into the ground right in front of me when I was young. I've never, yeah, I gotta especially say, I've they're never like broke those one. Mad Cats third party controllers. You now, fuck those controllers. They, they break real easy. Anyway. Dude. Yeah. They break real <laughs> easy. Like, if you just smack those one time, one good time, something ain't right no more. You know, the analog's gonna be <laughs> loose. Something, something's not right. Well, gamer, although I'm not happy that you made fun of people that play Final Fantasy 16 <laughs> was on a, the easy mode. That was a dig just for you, Dunless, actually. I, I knew it was there. <laughs> I knew it was there. I did that specifically. Sorry we you. all can't be action game all-stars <laughs> like you. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Uh, you'll, you'll see. Uh, you, you may not want to go full on all the way with some of those options to play it on easy mode. Yeah, it's not as bad as it sounds like. It's really not. It is an action We're game, but it's, gonna find out. it's super playable, I think. I mean, worst case scenario, if you really do have to do it all the way hardcore story the whole way like still worth it so yeah to play the story it doesn't matter play and however that's what you, you want. gotta do then that's what you that's what do. you gotta do that's right i'll get through it i'll get through it now the next find the time oh dude you have to find the time from 16 it's mandatory it's mandatory yeah, dude, what do you think we'll do. now people My who bad. refuse My to bad. buy a ps5 that's okay that's okay it is coming to pc Maybe towards the end of the year, beginning of next year, it would be nice to got it to PC before uh, the holidays. That's what I'm hoping for. Just yeah. bought mine today, boys. It's happening. It's so good. Now, the next cringe, you may recognize this character. He has been on Cringe Pony before. Um, so let's see what he gets into today. Our next cringe is called Sleeping Meds. Here we go. <laughs> Dear, could you bring me my sleep and medication? Uh, you're for sleep and medicine, dear. Thank you, dear. Mm. Ever since that little mix-up with my diabetes medicine, I've been having a little trouble with going to sleep. Sleep and medicine should help. There you go, dear. I'm gonna head on up to the hit in the hay. Oh. Ah. oh, 
Now to get a little sleep eye. Demons of the night, the dragon we take flight, leave you in fright. Come feel our bite, we come at twilight. So try to fight with all your might, blaze around my satellite. So you think you are asleep in your bed? Or have you passed on all sick in the head? We hold on to your soul by a single thread. You will wake up dead from these sleeping heads. Inside of your brain Can you feel the torture, the drain and pain? Psychic damage so hard, you'll need a cane So you think you're gonna wake up at dawn? Your spirit is fading, your blood is drawn Go back to your life, because it is gone We'll turn you to our puppet, our little boy my sleeping medicine. Why do you keep giving me wrong medicine? Dude, what's up with this guy? What's going on? Dude, that was crazy. Oh, that man, was just like creepy. that movie Suspiria. <laughs> dude, why is this guy? Moochin says he thinks the wife is trying to kill him. That's I mean, dude, he she might be on with something there. She is the one that keeps bringing. Maybe she's just. I mean, maybe she's just not hearing that that it's wrong medicine and it's still grabbing out of the same bottle. <laughs> yeah, maybe she just heard medicine. She's like, "Here's your medicine." It's the same medicine every time. Whatever it's it is, the same medicine. It's like this is probably it. It could be because if you notice, that is what she says both times. She says, "Here's your medicine. You want it, yeah. dear?" She doesn't say. Mm -hmm. She doesn't clarify that it's his diabetes or sleeping medicine. This guy needs to realize he's starting just getting his own medicine. <laughs> yeah. He cannot maybe trust stop. his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe know the, the difference medicine. between pills and chopped up mushrooms or something. Like that. <laughs> chopped up mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to at least learn what the pills look like himself so that at least he can take a good gander at them, you know? Yeah. So he can, you know, make sure because something's up here uh, because he actually, I don't know if you guys caught that, he has to take the sleeping medication because he couldn't sleep after the events that took place from the diabetes medicine. So the sleeping medicine was to help him sleep to recover from the traumatic experience he 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 had when he tripped balls on his porch from the whatever that medicine was that he got. Now, what do you know? It's happened to him again. Well, it's not out of his system. He needed to like drink more water. He shouldn't be taking more medicine <laughs> on top of the medicine. That's not good. It, it actually pretty great. The liver liver's gonna shut down. It, yeah, it actually turns out <laughs> the twist of the story is he's taking it on a on an empty stomach. That's actually the twist. That's gonna be the big, twist. That's the big and twist. He needs to get some, some food. <laughs> he needs to eat, you know, at least a piece of bread. You can't just take medicine. At least, at least. With a little sip of tea or your little tea plate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even believe that my family has a tea plate with a teacup. I didn't even know we owned that until I told my wife about the skit and she went and got it. And then it turns out this is a different one. So we have multiple sets of them. I don't even know where they are in the house. Uh, and this is gonna sound hilarious. I actually have one of those. And it's a <laughs> it's a Star Trek replica of, of of the ones they have on the Starship Enterprise. You had to, you have a Star Trek tea set? A tea set? No, just one cup and saucer, and it's a replica <laughs> no, but, of the ones that they have on the Enterprise. I have that. I find it kind of humorous that like I kind of feel like a tea set's kind of an adult thing, and Steve has turned it into not an adult thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I love it. Did I love it. it. I, Earl it. Grey it. hot, just like Picard. <laughs> tea, Earl Grey, hot. That's what I did. 
No, no, I understand. And then it 3D print you some Earl Grey hot tea. Yeah, I actually have to make it myself, though. I say it, oh. and then I make it real quick. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but we have a, a special person watching the stream right now that I kind of want to give a shout-out to. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I want to give a shout-out to Mrs. Gigi. She's watching the stream tonight. This is her first time watching Cringe Pony TV. Uh Hang with us, Gigi. Welcome, Gigi. The show's gonna what get up? even better. We're just getting Gee. we're just getting started. Because this may not be your cup of Earl Grey tea, but we appreciate <laughs> you watching. Yeah, there's some lessons to be learned here. Don't happy birthday, Gigi. Happy birthday. is it wait, is it Gigi's is birthday? No. birthday? I don't I don't oh, think it's her birthday. No, sorry okay. about that. I was about sorry to say about this about is that. news to me. I didn't know about the birthday. Um, I don't know. I just guessed. So, you know, last week we were streaming live in downtown Nashville. This week we're streaming to Gigi. So Live in Random Rob's house. To Gigi. Special shout out to all the Random Rob folk. Random Rob's uh, a good Shout out to his Look wife, now, Evie. People in the Thank chat are saying happy birthday, Gigi. Oh my <laughs> it's, not, it's not Gigi's Evie, birthday. Evie, happy over birthday. here. <laughs> I'm trying to talk over these guys. I'm sorry. Thank you for letting Rob <laughs> hang out with us all the time. Thank you. Appreciate you, Evie. Thank we, you. Uh, I know it may not seem like it from the contents of the show, but I swear we are decent uh, people. I'm a professional. A professional. Professional cringer. <laughs> professional professional cringe lord. That's us. I'm a, I'm a business <laughs> owner, homie. Oh, right, right, right. I do want to tell one thing about Random Rob before we move on to the next cringe. Your favorite thing to say about Random it's Rob? It's my favorite thing. that I use this advice all the time, right? And it is, if you can't outsmart them, then outstupid them. That is actually really good advice. That's actually really good advice. <laughs> if you can't outsmart them, just outstupid them. You know, do what you got to do. Dude, that works for me all the time. we play video games. We outstupid everything. I just outstupid most things in life. I'm like, well, I can't outsmart this, but I can't outstupid it. That's something I can do. I am, I am able to do that. Well, guys, the next one, I don't know. This might be my favorite one. This might be my favorite one of the night. I really love this one. It's called "Gonna Grow a Mullet," and I'm really trying to, uh, I'm really trying to appease my wife and get her to agree because she doesn't, she's not letting me grow a mullet, and I, I want. Hey, her. show winter, up your mullet before we move. I just gotta say, Winter, uh, my wife let me grow one. Yeah, and his ex-wife, two wives. <laughs> yeah, Double two wife. wives let me grow one. Let's show it off there, Steve. We'll and my kid's mom, if that counts for anything. What that glorious thing. Your baby mama. Look how, yeah. look how beautiful it's flowing off of his skull. It's beautiful. No, no granny, no granny. There's actually, granny was supposed, she didn't get complete tonight. Uh, she was almost oh, no. done. She was almost done, so it won't be a granny tonight. But we do have some new characters. And we're going to, we are going to move over into the next skit, guys. It's time. Going to grow a mullet. Here we go. Mullet time. Mullet I'm actually not married. anything ridiculous while you're away <laughs> i know i know come on honey don't be ridiculous i'll be back next month sorry i have to be gone so long you know how work is <laughs> oh. oh she's worried about me <laughs> you know what i should do something special for her mm, i know maybe i'll grow my hair out yeah we'll do a mullet yeah, she'll like that. She'll like that. Yeah. I mean, I'll be gone for a month. I might as well grow a mullet. It's a great idea. So I'm saying, well, it's a day for Donna King. The place to twinkle. It's a mullet today. My wife will love me when she has the discovery. It's a lovely mullet. It's so curly and yeah, it's barely. She'll love it oh so surely. It's a mullet. Today, I'm going to my wife and she'll want to get spicy and some more. Today, and I'll bet that she'll cry real tears of her joy in her eye. Fly up high, she'll let me rub her thigh. When she runs her fingers through the back of my skull, she'll know the feeling of joy. When I turn to the back, I can't wait to see her smile all the while. I got style, we'll dance for a mile. Blowing down the freeway, when I'm pulling the driveway, I got a mullet today. So simple, it's a dimple, got a dingle, face a twinkle, it's a mullet 
today. My wife will love me when she has the discovery. It's so lovely. Mullet. And I'll bet that she'll cry real tears of her joy in her eye. Fly a pie, she'll let me rub her thigh. When she runs her fingers through the back of my skull, she'll know the feeling of joy. It's so curly and yeah, it's burly, she'll love it oh so surely. It's a more today. I'm going to my wife and she'll want to get spicy. It's a more today. Honey, I'm home. Huh? What'd you think? Huh? What'd you think? What'd you think of this, huh? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> uh, well? <clears throat> What, what do you think of the mullet? My wife ain't got My mullet is crying Deepest in the darkness of my soul I see do I throw away my wedding ring? I can't believe this is how we have to end. How can she not this Dude, what do you guys think about that? She I have a lot I want to say about this video. Okay, Steven's clapping. He's very excited about this. For one, one. For one thing, the part, the the second musical mm -hmm. part of it. Yeah, I haven't been, I haven't been more moved since the Final Fantasy VI opera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's high praise, dude. One of the greatest um, scenes in all of video. That movies. is, that's very high praise. Number two, who who played the wife and. <laughs> is she by chance single? <laughs> the wife is uh, uh is um yeah I know this is shocking to hear but she is uh stock footage of a female cuz my wife wasn't available for recording so I had to use some other woman. Oof. Yeah. Oh wow. Well. I checked my wife's face when I showed sure her the video and she wasn't mad you. so. So having a mullet though, I just want to say I've I've had a mullet now for well I don't know like what 3 weeks or something. Okay. So you're kind Some of a connoisseur. Right you were a connoisseur before you owned your own mullet. I would like to mention to the people. That yeah, know. and I and and now keep in mind before I say this that uh, I live in Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. So there's that neighbor neighbor to the Kentucky waterfall mullet. Yeah. Well, ever since I got this mullet, dude, I'm telling you, dude, people are treating me different, like I'm, in a good way. In a good way. In a good. In a good way. This is interesting. Like, I wouldn't expect that. Yeah, people are way nicer to me, and I live in Tennessee, so I'm in the South, you know what I mean? So right, it's like right. a, I don't know, dude, it's weird. People have been really nice to me lately. It's kind of bizarre. Like, I think it's the mullet. Do you think, but hang on, do you, now listen, 
I, I'm just asking questions here because this is a little shocking. I didn't expect to get treated better having a mullet. I do have to admit that was not something I ever expected. No, dude, it's cr okay. You like, think they think there's something like wrong this. with you? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not no, talking dude, to me. No, dude. I'm just saying. I, I, I think they think I'm one of them. Oh, because you live in Tennessee. Yeah, because I live in Tennessee. So, oh. like, for example, like, I used to go to the grocery store, and I would be walking down the aisle, you know, to get some bread or something, and I'd see people, like, pulling their kids away, like I was a child molester or something. Oh, okay, okay. And I now, the, when I go to, yeah, that happens to me all, it used to happen to me all the time when I'd go out to the grocery store, people would, like, try to get away from me. But, uh. It's the punk rock kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but now that I have a mullet, dude, I'll go to the grocery store and, like, old ladies will be coming right up to me like, do you know where the eggs are at around here? Do you like it or is it getting annoying? Uh, actually, I'm liking it only okay. because I own a business in Kingsport oh, and, okay. and I'm, I'm using it to my advantage. That's true. So you don't ha try to hide the mullet when you go to work? No. Because I was feeling but, like well, if I have to re-enter the workplace, I don't know if I can go to an interview with the mullet. I mean, in the kitchen, I still wear a hat on. Do you guys say, do you hair net that bitch? Do you guys think no, I wear a hat? Do you guys think like, all right, mullet for an interview, but you're wearing a tuxedo? Does <laughs> that cancel out? Does that cancel out? Dude, I would hire that person instantly <laughs> at my restaurant. <laughs> a mullet in a tuxedo showing up for a McDonald's mullet in a tuxedo? interview. I'm, I'm in, man. Yeah, me and Steve used to like to rent tuxedos just so we could go to a McDonald's interviews. Dude, I'm not even joking. The other day, I was getting gas. Right? Nobody ever talks to me while I'm getting gas. Right? I'm pumping my gas, and this guy that's pumping his gas next to me, he's like, you know any good fishing spots around here? <laughs> he assumes that you fish <laughs> yeah. because you got a mullet. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It makes sense, though. It does make sense, actually. That is hilarious. Like, <laughs> the oh, assumptions. Oh, yeah, prefer them night crawlers or them worms. <laughs> dude, night crawlers is worms. What? They ain't the same, same thing. thing. Are they the same thing? I thought they were the same yes. thing. Yes. Okay, all right. They are. I was, about to get, are. I was about to get freaked out. Like, wait a minute. They are. So almost, now, when you I'm buy the. To take you fishing, boy. When you buy the professional. Oh, that's definitely something I don't do. When you buy professional worms, though, they are like. They're some chunky boys. You know, I've never found oh, a chunky yeah. worm like they're that. Not crawl. Dude, I, well, I learned recently how you get those, though. How do you. What? So, uh, this is going to sound crazy. Dirt the quality? Best way, the best ways. Dude, this is nuts. Okay. The best way to do it. Is to do it at a graveyard because oh all the so the, I know it sounds crazy, but this is real. Oh no! You do you, you and you walk. Damn's good. You walk. You go. You go when it's dark, right? You all go right. when it's dark, and you uh -huh. walk with a flashlight, like real slow, and you can see when the light hits them, they'll move, and then you grab them up and get them, get huge ones. Like I that. really don't want to think about. Now you're well, douching it. I don't want to really think about why there's big thick boy worms in the graveyard. It's actually not because of the bodies. It is actually just because the soil's loose. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. So anywhere like you know that has loose soil, that's just like a common place. Does the worm to belong to the grave keeper? A, gr no? a great fisherman taught me that trick. He's like, I always go to my grave to my to my to the yeah, graveyard dude, to get my worms. That is really is for real. I mean, a, a great fisherman. Can you get in trouble? That. that feels illegal. Going to a graveyard no, and just like a bucket you're, there's and no laws worms. against t taking worms. There's no laws. Is against it disrespectful? Like, do you like? What if there's Probably. a family there, like visiting their loved one, and you're just got a bucket collecting worms? Like, do sorry, it on Memorial like, Day. Sorry, don't mind me. I mean, to be fair though, if you're if you're visiting your loved ones at the grave at dark fall. Oh, you're right. At night, then you might you might want to expect to see something weird going yeah. on. Yeah, like a guy. Like catching, getting bait first, going fishing. Like, sorry, there's a real juicy one near the gravestone. Not trying to interrupt. Let me just grab this. It'll be out of your hair. Yeah. Dude, around here, if you do, probably in cops can they be like, you're gonna catch you a big old bass with that one, boy. Yeah, <laughs> I thought, probably gonna be yeah. jealous. Uh, you Mr. probably want to join. Mr. C says most graveyards close at dusk. I, I've never seen a closing time in a graveyard. That is true. That is true. No, it, that, it, it definitely says on the front of my nearest graveyard that it closes at dusk. Mm. Is it like a graveyard that's like behind a gated lock? Yes. Oh. See, you know, here in the South, there's yeah. that's only where rich people get buried. Right. Us normal folk, <laughs> us normal poor people, we just get buried in some random just, open lock. They're, like, they're out in the wild around here. 
And as soon as like a relative doesn't remember you, they will dig you up and put a trailer park there. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm dude, just letting you know. It's it's, dude, sometimes around here there'll be like a trailer park and then gated off in the middle of the trailer park there'll be like a small little graveyard that's old as hell. I actually because... seen that with my own eyes. I saw them with a the bulldozer <laughs> ripping up coffins and like bodies hanging out like skeletons and dumping it in a dumpster. I swear, I'm not joking. Dude, there's all kinds of places. I was like, like oh my god. And, and then sometimes. The families will find out, right, that are still alive, and they'll intervene. Yeah, and they, they can't. They, then they tons. have to leave it alone. Then they have to leave yeah. at least that one plot alone. They build yeah. all around it, dude. And yeah. There's a lot of places, in, at least around here, you know, where you can find that. Yeah. Pretty wild. Anyway, that turned real dark. Uh, well, we, as it always <laughs> does here. <laughs> you never know what we're going to talk about. We, we go with the flow. Uh, <laughs> actually, this was a good time to talk about graveyards and creepy things, because the next cringe pony... Is called something putrid and get ready. Hold on to your britches, folks. This is going to get real creepy. Real creepy. Real fast. Is everybody ready for something putrid? Based dude, on I'm a true story. We're, out, dude. We're, we're going to talk about it when we get back. It's too bad Dave's not here, but we will be talking about this. Oh, no. This is actually a true story with some minor adjustments. <laughs> some, minor, some minor adjustments. Here we go. Something putrid. <laughs> There's this bridge out in this town called Asheville, out in the Carolinas. You may have heard of it. It's called Helen's Bridge. Now legend speaks of a woman named Helen who lived at or near the mansion with her beloved daughter. After Helen's daughter died in a fire, the distraught mother hung herself from the bridge. Her anguished spirit is said to still appear when her name is called. Although people who have attempted to raise the spirit have reported strange, mysterious curiosities, such as their car not starting and such, when they try to leave. Now one day there was these three boys. They decided they wanted to go ghost hunting see if they could stir up something over at Helen's Bridge. So they drove their little car right up to that bridge and they wanted to see if there was something gonna happen. It was real late at night, of course. It was like three o'clock in the morning. And them boys, they were afraid already, just freaking themselves out, getting real nice and scared. So they pulled up under that bridge and they just sat there looking at it for a minute seemed like nothing was happening. So then they decided to get back in the car and drive back through the bridge just then. They noticed look, something looked like a noose dropped down, like something you hang something with. Noose dropped right down, swinging. But that wasn't enough to scare them boys away, no. They got up under that bridge and they started getting out of the car looking around just then. One of the boys yelled out, I smell something putrid. And that's when the rest of the boys noticed there was a foul stench in the air. So they started sniffing around, trying to figure out what that smell was. And believe it or not, they couldn't find nothing. But that was enough to get them real freaked out. So they ran up under there. They ran up under that bridge. They got back in the car quick as they could. They tried to start that car up and nothing. Car wouldn't start. This bridge is haunted. That's when they knew it was haunted for sure. So then they started looking around, trying to figure out what was they going to do. There was a ghost about. So they jumped back in the car again, all over again. And this time the car started right up. And they got away quick as they could. And when they looked back, there was an old lady standing under that bridge just looking right at them. Just looking right at them. Now three days had passed since that incident. And the boys just couldn't stop thinking about what they'd seen. Who was that old lady? So they got back in their cars one night in the middle of the night. And they drove right back up there to Helen's Bridge. They just had to know. Well, one of the boys, that same one that smelled something putrid the other night, he decided he was going to go off exploring on his own trying to find some answers. See if maybe there was an old witch or something living nearby. 
So he got out in the woods and was running around, sniffing about, trying to find something. And let me tell you right now, boy, he did find something. But nobody knows what he found. Because after that, that boy was not never seen again. His two friends was running around, scrambling, hollering out his name, hollering, trying to find out what happened to that boy. And they never could find him. After a couple of hours looking for their friend, they just decided to give up, head on back home. And them boys ain't never said no word till now when they sent me a letter about their story telling me what happened. The boy that went missing was never found. No remains, no clothes or nothing. And people don't know this, but that's why you shouldn't be going and messing around over at that Helen's Bridge in Asheville, North Carolina. Because let me tell you right now, son, that bridge is haunted. It's haunted real something fierce. So you best just stay away, unless you want to go missing too. You're just like that boy that smelled something putrid that night. Dude, now that is a freaking ghost story. I'm having nightmares. Dude, I'm over terrified. That. You, guys, you guys are on a horror like binge. <laughs> yeah, man. I know, dude. It's a good Nathan one. Nathan started a horror a horror story channel, and then I was like, I want to do one too. Do you have a link a to your twist? channel? Because that that was taken from Steve's channel. Steve does southern uh, uh, southern horror stories. It's called True Southern Horror. True Southern Horror. That's where that clip is taken from. But that is based on a true story of me, Steve, and Dave. Really did go on an adventure to Helen's Bridge and really did see a creepy old lady. And um, I don't know if we got in the car and back out of the car as many times as we did in the story. Maybe we did. I don't know. But there was a whole lot of that's my favorite part of that story. Is it's like then they got back in the car, and then they got out of the car, and then they got back in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you. A, you want me to send you the link in Discord? I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, and then I'll post it. Yeah, yeah. Let me just get a little link there. Well, crap. Make sure that's good. Dude, I've been having fun making those. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You inspired me though. Well, I think we all love your deep Southern accent when you tell them stories. Dude, it's just so fun for some weird reason. Yeah, as soon as I saw that one, I was like, "Oh, I've got to do a cringe pony of that." Like, I've, I want to act it out so bad, all the little, the little parts. And believe it or not, I actually played all three of those actors. I know that you couldn't tell because I'm so good. At not at all. I thought effects. it was three different, three different actors the whole time. <laughs> Here, I post it in the game geese. And... and by the way, in the in the true story of that, um, in the true story of that, Dave was the one. He was the one that smelled something putrid. And what was funny is we had a video camera, like one of the little handy cams, and we were we were filming it, but we didn't think it was funny when he said it. He was like, I smell something putrid. And but we didn't yeah, think it was really funny did. when it happened because we really did smell something that smelled rotted like rotting flesh. We were kind of freaked out. But then we went back and watched the video, dude. We rewound that and listened to that like a hundred times of him just being like, I smell something putrid. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. And, he, and obviously he didn't go missing, and obviously he, he's not missing to this day because it's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that that's the part made up. But all the other stuff actually really did happen. We really did see um, did see a, a noose fly down behind us um, one time, and then we did see a little old lady under the bridge. It was really creepy. But yeah. if I click on Discord, I realized it's going to break the stream because uh, it'll turn off the camera so I'm, I'm trying to find your channel it's just youtube.com slash at true southern horrors well, you heard it here true first. southern you southern horrors true southern horrors all right here we Hor go. horrors there we go horrors. 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 horrors let's be careful with that word We'll offend some of those ladies of the night. Here we go. All right, there's the link. You guys wait till you hear my newest one, The Kentucky Demon. It's a story of a demon who eats dogs. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's got three stories on his. I'm doing a horror story as well. 
Uh, mine yeah, you is, should post your link. Get them to go there, too. Yeah, and here's a link to mine. Which I actually have that machine. I love that I've ruined the word horror for everybody. Horrors. Yeah, I have to say horror now, just to make sure that everybody knows. <laughs> it's not quite as confusing as talking about Sonic. Sonic the Restaurant or Sonic the Video Game? Yeah, is it the Hedgehog or the Restaurant? It's confusing. Wait, Always. what are we talking about? Sonic the Restaurant or Sonic the Hedgehog, the game? I, I think we're talking about both at the same Sonic time. Sonic the Game or Sonic the Restaurant? Which one would you prefer to disappear off the planet? Did Sonic the Hedgehog, like it never existed. Like it's just gone. Restaurant or Hedgehog? The Restaurant. Sonic's got some good-ass breakfast. Uh, Sonic dude, the Hedgehog Sonic that's... sucks. Sonic sucks, dude. The Restaurant sucks. Sonic the restaurant sucks nowadays. I what about so. their like slushies and their ice cream and dude. all that delicious? Dude, those you can get that anywhere. Can ya? Nah, I feel like you can. Yeah, you're probably right, but whatever. They've got good breakfast. When they were on roller skates, I would oh, uh, I was down damn breakfast. It was a different time back then. It was then. a different time. I you know, I used to eat their little their breakfast burrito and they give you like oh, a little so little squeeze out salsa. <laughs> so gross. But, I will yeah, give up Sonic the Restaurant completely just for Sonic the Hedgehog 1. I Genesis. would, too. Just, for the very first just one. Just for that. I would, too. I would, too. If that was all we got, I would still do it. I would still do the trade-off. I just think, I just think Sonic the Restaurant has gone really downhill. You're right. Quality-wise, sure right. over the years. Uh, a Texas boy, and you're taking it personal. Dude, we didn't say nothing about Whataburger. I like Whataburger. That's Texas. Now that's Whataburger. That's Texas. All right. And I didn't say nothing. I like Maybe Whataburger. Maybe Sonics in Texas are like more hardcore because they're from there and they're better. Ours. Well, I just know that the last time I ever ate at Sonic, like three years ago, I might as well just took a bucket of Morton salt and dumped it into my mm. throat because that's all I could taste. It's all salt. Delish. Salt. It was nasty. Yep. It was putrid. And that's why I feel comfortable throwing <laughs> salt at Sonic, because they've been throwing salt at us since they opened the doors, so it's fair. Yeah. It's fair. It's fair. What's fair is fair. All right, we are on to the next cringe. This is called Brave Sir Lord Wobbleton. A Love new character. Guy. It's a brand new character, guys. Here we go. As your brave Sir Lord Commander, I lead the 18th Division to war against the invading armies of Cheddarsburg. What happened to the other 17 divisions, brave Sir Lord? They all died to the Cheddarsburgs. But you have all been trained in the art of war, and we shall march forward and claim victory for our realm. The beauty of war, after all, is that all sides are equal. We all fight with swords and shields, after all. They got rifles, sir. Rifles? What, what sort of madness do you speak? Uh, well, this isn't fair at all, is it? What honor is there, killing your foe with such weapons? In any case, we have arrows. We shall show them the true power of the arrows. Or something. They got cannons too, sire. Cannons? What sort of contraption is this? This is fair. How are they even doing that? It's ridiculous. Will you be leading the charge, brave Sir Lord? Uh, I mean, I, I first of all, I didn't get the memo on the rifles and the cannons. Um, this is new stuff for me. Uh, perhaps, perhaps we should retreat. We are doing a cowardly retreat then. Hey, why don't you just shut up back there? There is honor in retreating reassessing the situation back behind the castle walls. I mean, since when did people have cannons? <laughs> and so, in the year 1302, brave Sir Lord Wobbleton did retreat.
<laughs> All right, there you go. What do you guys think of uh, Brave Sir Lord Wobbleton? Do you lose your title Brave <laughs> when you run away? I think it was Brave before they invented cannons and and uh, and, and rifles. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine how yeah, terrifying there was at some point in history? A normal, like, yeah, we've got, you know, all of our archers ready and we're well trained in swords and shields. And then the army came forth with rifles and cannons. And that would yeah. suck. <laughs> that would suck. Right. Dude, that, that, that was a, a, like a pretty cool, high quality medieval style show there. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that was about like on the level of like of Dragon Age Redemption starring Felicia Day. <laughs> <laughs> Starring Felicia Day. Yeah, it was pretty good. Most of that footage was taken from uh, the, uh, would they do the reenactments? Oh, Sparrow noticed that was, that was a backwards mullet. Isn't a backwards mullet kind of just a normal haircut, though? Or is it the Karen? <laughs> it's kind of the Karen cut, actually, isn't it? Oh my gosh, Steve well, actually had a copy yeah. of that. Steve actually has a He's copy so of that. Creepy. Randomly He's available. So creepy. It's a Sorry, crime. that's a. Uh... <laughs> I, I I got I have to I've been having to like slide stuff in on the sly. Sorry, I didn't mention anything for the for some uh, some advertising deals that I sort of signed up for. <laughs> Sponsor <laughs> Buffalo mm, today. This water is really good too. So that is uh, we have a new character to the Cringe Pony Arsenal, and we have one last cringe for everybody tonight. This is uh, another one actually based Final on a true story. Based on a true story, too. All right, here we go. The next one is called it. High Score Weight. Here we go. Well, let me see how much I weigh. I know I've been gaining weight, but let's see how bad it is. Time to get on this scale and find out. Here we go. Oh no, I've gained a lot of weight, oh, it's not good, but I'm pretty close to 200 pounds, I kinda think maybe I ought to get to 200 before I start losing some weight, I know the family's starting to get a little worried about me, it's time to go talk to them. Wife? Wife, I've made a decision. Dad, I've made a decision. Mom, I've made a decision. I'm going to make it to 200 first. I have to do this. You don't understand. Give up. I can do this. Finally, the day has come. I've worked so hard for this. What do I weigh now?
I did it. I did it. Why are you guys always crying all the time? Jeez. <laughs> so, there we go. I mean, listen, when you're that close to 200, I don't want to have to say I um, I was almost 200, right? I want to just be able to say I was 200 pounds, now I'm th whatever, right? So I am, I'm going to make it to 200, and then I'm going to start losing some weight. And so this is like your real-life journey. This is real. This is a, it's a real-life journey, yeah, because I really am 185 exactly. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and so get to 200. So you're going to try to get to 200? I mean, why not? It's 15 pounds. This is such a terrible idea. I just, I would hate to have to tell everybody, like, yeah, I was almost 200 pounds before I started actually <laughs> exercising. <laughs> You know, mm. I wanted to just be able to say I was 200 pounds and then I started exercising, you know? You know, you're just putting on that weight to help build the, the framework muscle before you start really yeah. shredding it down. Yeah, really what I'm doing is I'm giving exercise to my bulking legs up. for you're having to carry up. the weight. It's like leg day every day, you know? Every day. Yeah, I'm building up my leg muscles first and then I'll worry about the gut, right? Perfect. And I really did dip a that. strawberry Debbie cake into mayonnaise, and that did not, those flavors did not mix well. It was pretty gross. Dude, I bet not. <laughs> Somebody in the chat, who was it that said it? Vaughn, thanks for super chat, Somebody said mayonnaise is not a dipping sauce. <laughs> however, okay. however, the majority of dipping sauces are made from mayonnaise, believe it or not, outside uh, of barbecue true. sauces. Tons of them. Almost all of them, yeah, right? The majority of them are. The majority of them. Are made from and if you didn't know, it's yeah. just mayonnaise with shit stuff added to it. Yeah, it's just eggs and oil. Yeah, and oil. There's no dairy in mayonnaise. There it's ain't no vegans. dairy in no mayo. Gulo oh, Gulo has dropped the track. He's brought up a pretty good point here. He said you could use this as like a leverage with uh, my wife Winter. Either you hit 200 pounds or you get to grow a mullet. Her choice. Ooh. Yeah. Oof. Mm. You don't want to throw ultimatums at your wife. That's yeah, that usually doesn't work out too well. That usually just means like, all right, fine. I'm going to my mom's house. How about that? Dude, uh, Sparrow just said with cold chicken, mayo is absolutely a dipping sauce. And she transformed into my dad immediately when that happened. When she said that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so something like my dad will be doing. I'm a big fan of mayonnaise, <laughs> but I, I rarely use this as a dipping sauce. But I am a big fan. I could fan. see getting like a... A, uh, a drumstick and getting the spray, yeah. not spray, but the Ooh, spray, spray mayo. mayonnaise. Spray mayonnaise, <laughs> dude. You're onto something. Dude, you're onto something. Spray mayonnaise. Let's do it. Let's we make it. Spray, spray mayo. mayo. I got spray butter. I need spray mayo. I like the spray I can't mayo. Spray it's not mayo. mayo. Yeah. Well, you'd have to, that spray you have to water it down a little bit to get it to spray, I feel like, or we get clogged uh, up, right? Put the spray mayonnaise on my hardwood carpet. Here we go. <laughs> you guys don't understand. One time I saw Nathan make a. Uh, Pancake syrup out of mayonnaise. I did. Oh, God. I cooked. I'm not I, joking. Dude. I use. You can. To, I've done it to my family. You can He's totally done crazy stuff with mayonnaise. You can use mayonnaise as He's a like replacement. A chef. I really am. You I'm can. You can replace ma uh, butter with mayonnaise in any ingredient, and it's creamier. Sure. It actually is a good. It's a good tactic. So I make pan. I make pancakes sometimes instead of butter. I use mayonnaise. I'm telling you, it works. It works, dude. I have seen him make so much stuff with mayonnaise, it's insane. And and the majority of the stuff, he's like, come on, taste it. And you're like, oh, God, I, just don't, uh, I don't know. And then you taste it, and you're like, okay, I guess it's a bit worked. <laughs> the syrup was I mean, the craziest one fat. to me. Yeah, no, let's not talk about I made the a S word. I made a syrup with it one time. I don't remember how I did that. Like you put honest. it on, you put it on pancakes. And, and the stuff. pancakes we were cooked with it. mayonnaise instead of butter also. It was crazy. It, well, it makes sense that you can cook with it because so much oil, you know. Right, 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 right. But yeah, I mean, you know, there's you can lot, do a lot of stuff with mayonnaise. It turns out mayonnaise is pretty good. And I'll and, and, and for all you miracle whip people out there, look, get out of here with get that. get out of here with that. Just for making coleslaw, and that's it. I'm not. Yeah, coleslaw. Both you're right. are fine. Both are fine. I will eat it if it's all that's available, dude. If if somebody is using miracle whip in the way you as mayonnaise, they need to get out. They need well, to get sure. out. For sure, they don't taste like man. They're, they're very different, but the same. Yeah, you need. They're to, not the same. Yeah, you need to. You, you know, like just live a little. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
What do you get like, that Miracle Whip out of my face? Do you really think that's going to make a difference? Switching from Miracle Whip to mayonnaise and compare the gain of like it's a little bit healthier for you compared to the quality of taste that you're losing. Is it even a little bit healthier for you? I don't. Miracle it's Whip? probably one of those like no. corporate lies. It's probably tastes like mayonnaise with sugar in it. Yeah, it's probably worse. <laughs> it probably is. I bet delicious. you it's worse for you. Uh, but I do have a question. Uh, can you leave mayonnaise lying out for a whole day? You can, can't you? Yes. Okay, because uh, it's still You shouldn't. It. It's still here. I mean, get it in the fridge. But you've got about eight hours before it. Oh, it's been more bad. than that. Yeah, that was like. Uh, then throw they, that say, away. they say nowadays there's so much preservative in the food, though, that you'd be safe for even longer in reality. It but, you says know. it has eggs in it. So yeah. That, right. That makes me think maybe it's... That's the good. reason why. Oh, it does say store in refrigerator. Do not freeze yeah, yeah. refrigerator after opening. All right, well, that sucks. I just wasted a whole... It was worth it for that skit. It was worth it. But it used to be like, <laughs> you'll you, you'll meet a lot of... See, like, we've never had to really worry about this as much, but you, you used to meet a lot of old people back in the day when we were kids being like, oh, Lord, if that mayonnaise gets left out, you're going to have to throw it away. It'll kill everyone. I remember people saying yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, I did get sick, and it could have it's been a coincidence. As... Actually, you know what? I just figured out the mystery. It has nothing to do with mayonnaise. I had one time left a sandwich out, <laughs> and I ate like in the sun for like most of the day in the summertime. And I ate it anyway. I was a kid. And I was like, I don't care. I'm eating a sandwich. Yeah. And I got sick, but I just realized it was probably the meat, not the mayonnaise. I blamed it on you mayonnaise. You never know, though. It could have been the mayonnaise. Could have been. Could have been. If it had sitting out in the sun. Sitting on the, it was sitting have been the sun. It was, it was a nice toasty sandwich from the sun. I'll tell you another secret I used to do when I lived in Louisiana in the summer. It was so hot that for lunch I would bring like a, a one of those crappy like uh, Totino pizzas. And it was so hot in Louisiana that I could just, I would take the pizza out, lay it on top of the box and put it on my dashboard and go work. And at lunchtime it would be cooked. The cheese would be melted and yeah. be 100% ready to go. That would really surprise me, you know? Yeah. Sounds delicious, and your car smells good. Yeah. Free air fresh. Yeah, you get free pizza flavored uh, f fragrance in the air. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, we need to make a pizza fragrance new brand, a new brand pizza fragrance. Um, Dang man, I've had shower pizza. juice. Shower juice. I've had pizza since last year. You got. I want pizza. Oh oh. Dang oh. it. Pizza fragrance and spray mayo. Put it on the list. Yeah, I I like Totino's. If I'm gonna buy, to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of frozen pizza. But Totino's is different. There's some. There's so. It's like it's it's so disgusting that it's delicious. It's so disgusting that it's delicious, and I like to. There's something about Totino's, man. I like to cook it's mine actually, in the microwave. I go full it, blown degenerate mode. I cook it in the microwave for about two and a half minutes, three minutes, and then I roll it up like a burrito. And eat Totino's, it. dude. I like to do that too. It's so good. It actually pissed me off when they started. They turned them into squares. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I get that square yeah. shit out of my Why mind. did they do that? Do you think they're saving space? Know, There's dude. a little it's bit weird. less dough, maybe. Maybe they're tricking us, and it's just I have no idea. They lose less uh, toppings when they, on the conveyor belt. No, I, I bet you that is I, what it is. Oh, yeah. I remember the day that it switched, and I was like, what? That makes perfect sense, actually. Yeah. And they come in plastic now instead of a, car, a little, a little used to come in cardboard a, box. Yeah, used to come in a, yeah, because back when I did it, <laughs> I would lay it. A box is a free plate when you're a, a I know, that's what I'm saying, dude. And then you have to put it, then it's in a piece of plastic. Like, come on, man. What you, is this? Yeah, you a, can't, you can't microwave it either. Cat bar? You can't microwave that plastic. You could microwave, you could literally pull the piece out of the box, lay it on top of it. My favorite was rip the box in half, and then you've got an extra, <laughs> you got an extra little spot on the other flap. To put like you know a little plastic fork or your little drink or something you know yeah dude put some fries yeah, it's on there it's it's in plastic now like it's a freaking pizza Kit fries. Kat bar or something yeah it is in plastic now and if you want proof go watch Asmongold's video where he shows how to make one of those pizzas we <laughs> we we did the math and um, so far Asmongold is making off of showing people how to make a frozen Totino's pizza he's made roughly around fifty thousand dollars wow and he baby. burns it and he burns it. And he cooks it in a, to a turkey broaster or whatever those are called. I used to be so lazy with those what? things that I'd throw yeah. them in a microwave. 
Dude, I would uh, like dude, them like that. that. They're all day. nasty and soggy. Then you roll them into a burrito. Yeah, yep. yeah. Exactly. That's I used how to I like taco, it. But yes, that is exactly right. My wife is big on the oven. I get pissed off. I feel like it's a waste of Totino's. I want it to be disgusting and nasty. It's like, dude, why are you trying to make the pizza seem like a legit pizza? Right. Put that crap in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, it's not a legit pizza. Let's Eat not it even like pretend. like a disgusting sog of pizza flavor. Yeah, what yeah, are we? Soggy pizza, delicious. What are we here? Five-year-olds are pretending like we're, we're you know, uh, princesses here, you know? Let's just be yeah. honest. This is a piece of crap pizza. Let's treat it like a piece of yeah. crap pizza. Put it exactly, in the microwave. Exactly, man. Roll it up like a burrito and eat from both ends. Because as you're biting into this end, it'll squish some out that end. So you have to like switch back and forth until it's all gone. That's how you do it. I don't like squishing out of either end. Yeah, I, I hate it when you lose a little bit of that sauce and cheese <laughs> up the up one of the ends. It's a real travesty for some reason. But, you know, when you eat it on the plate, then you get it at the end of the, where it's just straight cheese and topping. Mm. Yeah. What you have to do is oh, when I you have the pizza, pizza right taco now. or burrito or whatever, this is a technique I've learned over the years of being fat. <laughs> what you do is when you put it in your mouth, take a bite. Before you bite down it, suck a little bit, like, and then take a bite and it makes it not come out the other end. It's got a good little suck, like... <laughs> That is actually, yeah. I know that it works. I've never even known that trick, but I know that it works. It I can, works. It's just basic science, you know? <laughs> it's all right, man. Give, it a little, give that pizza cone a little suck. Suck bite. Oh, pizza cones. We should talk about that before like we end the show. a bite and a suck at the same time. Do you guys like the pizza cones? The little pizza, whatever? Women don't learn that. <laughs> No, women women are really good at that until you're married for a few years, and then they forget how to do that. This is the only cringe content I've come want, here for. I do not want the bite and suck at the same time. <laughs> no. Well, oh, <laughs> hey, I'm, well, we're not going to go there today. It's right? only good for pizzas <laughs> and burritos. Uh, so Now, listen. we got to talk about the the pizza cone, though. That's a, I feel like that's an abomination. What the heck is the pizza cone anyway? It's, I don't even it's know. Like what it a, is. It's like a it's like a a crust like a think of like a thin crust, right? And it's it's shaped like a cone and they put cheese and sauce and pepperoni sausage, whatever like into in the it? cone. Yeah, and you eat it like an ice cream. Dude, I've never even heard of it. Dude, I'm out of the loop on unhealthy food right now, you guys. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a really unhealthy one. You should get it like a I'm down for that. that like a fair, good. maybe, or something. Hey, you don't see them all the Deep time. Deep fat fry it after that. I don't know how they cook it, to be honest, but I, I assume that the that the crust, whatever that even is, is deep fried. They probably cook the crust first and then just put it's all probably, the crap in it, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's funnel cake pizza. Dude, that'd be gross to take funnel cake and then put some sauce and cheese on it. Ew, Would dude. It? I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't be so as gross as I mean, that, yeah, maybe uh, it wouldn't be without all the down. sugar and stuff. You'd, you'd, instead of putting sugar and all that crap on it, maybe it would randomly be good. I could see it working, actually, now that I'm really Well, let's do to, it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> on our trip to Casa Bonita. That, gonna... Dude, if we really go on that trip, that'll be the, that'll be when I... I I break my eating. It's happening. Eating. So it's that'll be the one chance now. for and, me to do it. And we're gonna go live a few times while we're doing that too. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna document yeah. that trip because me, Dimos, and Steve are gonna get together, and we're gonna we're gonna do a little road trip. It's and probably gonna take forever for this bonita, to actually happen. That's so bonita. I mean, it could be a while. You know, we gotta. Well, because right and... now the way how they do it, like we wouldn't be able to actually do it. Oh, like, um, now. What, like what you have to do now is like you basically get put on a list and then they just randomly, like it's oh, not wait, even we'll like you're on. Right, it's not even. Yeah, we'll have to wait till things that's will over. calm down. Yeah, they'll just randomly select you and like we're all the way so far away we wouldn't be able to get there. Well, we'll um, get there. I, I I'm sorry, but Mr. C's brought up something that has brought up a deep rooted um, kind of rage within me. Um, you he's mentioned Twinkies. Twinkies freaking suck, guys. They don't even taste good. What is what? up with that? What's up with that weird what? flavor? It doesn't taste like, like cake. It has a weird. Come on. It has I'm a, not a weird fan. flavor. It, it I never was. Something never wrong with them. It. They look good. They should be good. But when you bite into a real Twinkie, I'm talking about the real brand, Twinkie. There's some weird flavor, dude. I don't know what it is, but it's gross, man. And well, I, I can tell you what the problem is right seen. now. Okay. I, I already know what is the problem. Okay. Let me tell you guys right now, I grew up in the South, and in the me South, too. we don't... Screw Hostess. We are down with Lil' Debbie. Thank you. Lil' Debbie is the best piece of crap cake you can eat. 
It's the yeah, best. Yeah, dude. All the Little Debbie stuff is good. And I'm going to say something uh, about Little Debbie. I'm going to say something about Little Debbie real quick. Dude, guess what else Hostess has? The Ding Dong. That thing sucks. They too. suck! Ding Dongs are freaking disgusting. What? They have and a weird ho-hos. taste. What? They also have ho-hos. They have that weird, suck. they all have this weird, I don't even know what to call it. It's just this weird taste. It doesn't it taste like, like a cake. chemical kind of. It tastes of, like a chemical a, a little bit, yeah. There's something weird going on with them. I don't know what you they're doing. You don't think there's chemicals in Hostess as well? Oh, you mean Lil Debbie? Yes. Whatever. Yeah, but. I do. Hang, hang on. on. They're literally the same thing. I'm not. Literally oh, the same no. Thing. They are not. No, they're not. Lil Debbie, let me tell you guys something. Take the fancy cake. That's Here my favorite. Yo. That is Dude, my he favorite. We are about fancy cakes. I lo- I've always loved the fancy cake. Take a fancy cake. Everybody probably knows what they taste like. You can probably kind of imagine the flavor in your mouth right now. That delicate, you know, moist. <laughs> Sorry about that. Using that word. I prefer uh, spiral. Cake, and you bite yeah. into it. It's delicious, and it just it just melts in your mouth. Now imagine that exact same cake enlarged. It could be. If, if that was presented as a large, several-tier cake, okay, and sliced up and put on your plate, you would swear it was the best cake you'd ever have, even if it was like at a wedding. You'd be like, where did you get this cake? We totally just treat little Debbie like it's a some cheap, useless lady of the night. And it's just not fair because it is actually delicious little treats. You man. could have used the word horror and not <laughs> said horror. Yeah, I'm afraid somebody would think I'm saying horror when I say when I so I like to use Lady of the Night now. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Dude, I don't know. Oh I just am, I never I I don't like ding dongs, I don't like ho hos, I don't like Twinkies, you know? They're so the only good. thing that, that yeah. all good. makes that I kinda sorta liked was those weird orange flavored cupcake things. Now, oh, gross. now let's talk about Intamins. Oh, those. those are pretty. Intamins good. is like the classy dude. Yeah, that's like when you when you get like when you move up in the middle class, maybe a little dude, above. Those donuts, those chocolate covered donuts they got. I used to be obsessed with them things. The coconut ones are the best. Oh, those coconut ones are so good. It's outrageous, and I feel like Intamins doesn't put as much sugar. Like you can eat more of them before you actually get sick. You guys agree with that? I feel like I just want to eat them right now. Wait, what does it make you sick? I feel like... t- we need to wrap this up because I'm hungry now. Yeah, Dude, that's you guys... true. I don't even have <laughs> I don't have sweets in my home. Steve, Steve, I don't know what I'm doing to myself here. Everything in my house right now. After dude, I got nothing, dude. I'm dry right oh, now. Oh, no, it started, guys. I'm going to have to eat a pimento cheese sandwich or something. Jeez. Ooh, I love pimento cheese sandwiches. Dude, right now I got this smoked Gouda pimento cheese. Oh, and it is so wow. good. Why are so we good. doing this to ourselves? When, I'm so hungry now. I, I just realized something that's very distressing. Ever since Steve got this mullet, he suddenly thinks he's too good for little Debbie. Are you too Me? good for little Debbie? <laughs> yeah, ever since this mullet came along, now you think you're too good for little Debbie. I can't believe this. Steve no, has. it's not the mullet, guys. I haven't eaten little <laughs> Debbie all year. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but I will say this. I just think next time you crack open one of those little cellophane wrappers on a little Debbie cake, actually f- forget about that it's cheap and it's, you know, you know, it's it's a lower mm. quality kind of food. Forget about that for just a second and just enjoy it for what it is because I'm telling you, we just treat little Debbie like it's something not delicious or just something kind of uh, lower quality when actually... Little Debbie cakes are kind of one of the best treats in the planet, in my dude, opinion. Dude, oatmeal cream pie. Dude. Oatmeal cream pie. Don't get me started. So, so good. good, dude. And the raisin. The, what's it called? The uh, the uh, raisin. The little. It's like a little cake with some cream in the middle. It's got the raisins on the top. What's that one called? Yeah, I, I can't remember what that one's called, but it's good too. Dude, that's raisins a, on the top. Yeah, it's got some little raisins yeah. on the top. It's like a, a, a like a like a like a. What is that thing called? Like a white. Uh, yellow, two-sided cookie, kind of real soft. Uh, whatever that one's called, that's my that's one of my favorites. Fancy cake number one, number two, whatever the raisin one's called. I'm a picture raisin guy. cream. I, it's I called a raisin cream pie. pie. Raisin cream pie, so good. Also, raisin cream pie, oatmeal cream pie, dude. Even like the weird little Debbie. St- <laughs> not even necessarily weird, but dude, I love e- everything they ever made that is involving peanut butter. I love all those things. They have like four different peanut butter things. I love them all. Well, before we end this, Steve, do you want to tell everybody about the strange thing in the South about um, the swirls? What are they called? The um, the little Debbie swirls and, and what Southern people call those? 
You know what I'm talking about. I'm trying, they, I call want you to... pe- they call them pecan pies. <laughs> oh, pecan pies. What are those really called? They're like cinnamon swirls or something like that? Well, they actually are supposed to be pecan flavored. They're called pecan spin wheels. Oh, pecan spin wheels. But, the, but in the South, spin they wheels. call them, give me one of them pecan pies. They call them pecan pies. Because <laughs> they've never had real pecan pie. I don't know why they Seems call like them they that. Have. Because they eat, pe- they eat real pecan pie, too. Pecan. But some about those pecan spin wheels are like, give me some of them pecan pies. I wonder why that is. Know. That's odd. I don't know. But that yes, is true. Pecan. That pecan. I love that pecan pie, boy. Maybe I'll do a haunted ghost story about you pecan. But it, it, it involved pies. that for some reason. It was <laughs> randomly, it's just randomly in there. The ghost of little Debbie. Like then the boy reached reached over to finish off his pecan pie. <laughs> make sure you <laughs> make sure you show the swirl when you say that, so that everybody sees that it's not a pecan pie. <laughs> yeah, and it's like got that that dark thing over it with the distortion, but it's, it's the pecan swirl. <laughs> Dude, I should do that. Well, anyway, I don't uh, know. I don't know what happened just now, but we just dived into some weird places. We went on a whole tangent, dude. I do just want to say one quick more thing. Uh, for definitely, please go subscribe to my new horror channel. It's just fun for me. And in the new episode, there's a part where I say that a demon says, "I'm hungry for some dogs." Oh, dude, that that part, there's act, a sneak treat. dude. There's something actually kind of creepy about that part, to be honest. That kind of freaked you me out. Thought it was kind of creepy. Yeah, when when they when he said they wanted to eat some dogs, there's something just uh, just kind of horrible about that, you know? Like, oh, yeah, I just it's imagine, bad, dude. I just imagine that creature coming to eat my dog. That's based on a true, like a, that's a true cryptid, yeah, right? That's why I don't I don't go to Kentucky because of that, dude. You're gonna not gonna go anywhere soon because you keep well, being yeah. like. I, I, what, what, how did you put it? Um, I know a lot of people don't want to say it. How did you say that? A lot of people don't want to say this, but you shouldn't be going to Helen's. Shouldn't be going yeah. to Helen's Bridge. It's haunted. It's haunted. It's something haunted. real fierce. Haunted something real fierce, boy. Well, guys, thank you all so much for joining us for another uh, episode of Cringe Pony. Um, we should be back next Saturday. We will have to miss the 15th, but we should be back for the 8th. Um, so we'll be back next week on the 8th for some more Cringe Pony. And appreciate everybody. Thank you all for your support. I uh, love you guys so much. Thanks for uh, making it possible for me to do something this weird and strange. And we'll see you guys next episode. Do you guys have anything else you want to plug or talk about? We need to talk about, you guys need to come start watching Game Geese, by the way. You're missing out. On oh, the- yeah. You guys are missing out on Game Geese. It's, it's free cringe. Blast. It's free cringe. You're missing out. You're missing out. It's every like week. cringe the radio show, basically. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's cringe funny. the radio show. It's pretty good. And um, talk about video games and stuff too. We are recording tomorrow, so we'll have a new episode Monday. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I'm planning to do it. Depends on if you edit it. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, I will. The, the last then one, we'll, yeah, the last one, one came out. There was one time we made a whole episode and I didn't edit it. <laughs> it's a lost, lost episode. episode. We're gonna release it one day though. One of these days. Because there's some lore there. When that it's we, most irrelevant. The bad thing about that is there's lore that we put in there that we forgot that we did that now we think the audience knows, but they actually don't know because we Ooh. didn't release the episode. So it's kind of confusing. Oh, really? I, I guarantee it because every episode there's something added. And then we just start talking about it like it's normal. And the audience is like, who's Tabitha Poonsworth? Except for you guys should know who that is. Tabitha Poonsworth. She's the best. Mm. Are you Poonsworthy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't baby. know if anybody is. I love uh, old Flabby Tabby. But anyway, guys, we will talk to Flabby you all Tabby. later. We are we are out. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Peace, brothers.
Jesus. 